Google launches an ad transparency center, Instagram is working on a new interest feature, and Meta is using AI to help with brand safety and verification. Google wants you to feel like you can talk to it like a normal person, and hopefully it's about something nice because they are sunsetting old attribute models for marketing. And TikTok gets to sit at the cool kid table while Snapchat and Instagram are forced to eat lunch in the library. Let's talk about those things on this week's rundown brought to you by PosiRank.com. Google has launched a new ads transparency center, and in a move that will make politicians everywhere squirm, they're finally giving users the inside scoop. The center allows users to see how much they are spending and the specific targeting criteria being used for each ad. Google's decision to offer greater transparency is part of a broader effort to increase transparency and accountability in digital advertising. And while it's also a welcome move, it's also a sign of the times. With the rise of social media and the increasing influence of digital advertising on political campaigns, it's become increasingly important to teach giants like Google to offer more transparency and oversight. But let's be honest, I think we all know that they are targeting ads, but now we get to see who they're spending the money on. Because I want to see how much Snickers is spending on me by targeting their ads towards me. I mean, they're deliberate and delicious, but I also find it kind of endearing to see how much money they spend on me. Also, Instagram is taking the social out of social media with the new interest feature. Now, you can finally connect with strangers over your shared love of avocado toast and dog memes. The new feature suggests accounts to follow based on the interests you select, allowing you to discover new content and engage with like-minded individuals. But let's be real, the interest feature is just Instagram's latest attempt to keep you scrolling for hours on end. And we're not mad about it. Who needs human interaction when you can explore a never ending stream of content tailored specifically to your interest? It's like having a conversation with someone who agrees with you about everything. With interest, Instagram is capitalizing on our innate desire to connect with others who share our passions. But let's not forget the real winners here brands and influencers. Now, they can target users with even greater precision based on their specific interests, ensuring that every sponsor post is as relevant and engaging as possible. There's no timeline to when they will launch this feature, but rest assured it will be here to feed your addiction to cute animal videos and inspirational quotes. And who knows, you might even make a friend or two along the way. I just know my mom is going to do everything she can to like everything on my feed so that way she pops up all the time. <sighs> just kidding. I love you, mom. And finally, Meta is taking brand safety seriously with its new AI-powered measure to keep advertisers from looking like total fools. They're using artificial intelligence to scan social media platforms for potentially harmful and inappropriate content and flag them for review by human moderators because there's Nothing worse than your ad for organic quinoa being placed next to a post about alien lizard people theories. However, AI can only do so much. There's still very real risk that your ad will end up next to a post about a rogue politician or a viral TikTok trend that is already peaked. Can't believe I missed out on those. But with Meta's new brand safety measures, at least you can sleep at night knowing you've done everything in your power to protect your brand's reputation because Meta's always done so well. Meta's move towards greater brand safety is part of their bigger push to stay relevant and a safe place to find information after the past several years of dropping the ball. And let's face it, with the way things have been going on social media these days, we could use a little more safety. Well, go ahead advertisers, breathe a sigh of relief knowing that your ads won't be associated with those latest internet controversies. Unless of course that is your ad, in that case this is... Awkward. Aloha my SEOs from Hawaii. Sorry for the unprofessional background and relaxed atmosphere, but it is what it is when you use a professional and trusted company like posirank.com to handle all of your SEO needs. It doesn't matter if you are an agency, freelancer, or business owner. We can help you manage your SEO and free up time to give you this. No, not Hawaii, we aren't Oprah, but with our staff of experts, years of experience in SEO management and white labeling services, we can give you the freedom to travel and enjoy life knowing all of your clients and business needs are being met. So 
click the link down below or head on over to posirank.com to schedule an appointment with one of us to see how we can get you from behind the desk to laying on a beach. Google is set to take search engine technology to a new level with the introduction of conversational artificial intelligence. That's right, folks. Soon you'll be able to have a chat with Google search like it's your BFF. This new feature will allow for more personalized results and give users a more natural interaction with the search engine. Mum, Google's new search technology, will be the brains behind the conversational AI. It's like Bert, but smarter and can multitask, just like your mom during a Zoom meeting. With the integration of conversational AI, Google hopes to improve the accuracy of search results for longer and more conversational queries. So. The hope is that you can ask Google's search anything and everything like you're chatting with your best friend. But unlike your best friend, you actually have to talk to it. It doesn't understand stares and eyebrow raises. Google is hoping this one will win back some points from users who went to the Bing side. By giving users more accurate and personalized results, Google is hoping to keep their search engine dominance and gather even more data about their online behavior. What? You thought they were doing it just to be nice? And this comes just on the heels of Google announcing that it is sending some of the old attribute models to the retirement home. These models include last click, last non-direct click, linear, and time decay. They used to be the go-to for measuring the effectiveness of online marketing campaigns, but they're now outdated in providing an incomplete picture of a customer's journey. But fear not, Google Attribution is here to save the day. Think of it as a new kid on the block with all the right stuff. Oh, 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 gosh, I'm old. The new attribute technology has some new tricks up its sleeves. It uses machine learning to provide a more accurate and all-encompassing view of a customer's journey. It takes into account all touch points across all channels and devices to give credit where credit is due. So say goodbye to the old models and hello to the new era of smart and more informative marketing strategies. Hopefully. It's like replacing your old flip phone with the latest smartphone. Sure, the flip phone was great back in the day, but it's time to move on to something better, dad. Wait, do they still sell flip phones? I mean, how does that even work? I mean, you might as well have a pager at that point. With Google Attribution, businesses can finally get a complete and accurate understanding of their customer's behavior so they can make informed decisions about their marketing investment. And get that money, baby. And finally, move on over Instagram and Snapchat. There is a new sheriff in town and its name is TikTok. Duh. A recent survey by Piper Sandler has found out that TikTok has become the preferred social media platform for American teenagers, edging out the competition with 33% of teens listing it as their favorite. That's right, the app that brought you viral dances, short form videos, and questionable lip singing is now the cool kid on the block. And just like the cool kid on the block, it may be moving on because of expulsion. This seismic shift in teenage social media preferences has put TikTok in the crosshairs of marketers looking to reach the coveted youth demographic. Brands are flocking to the platform to take advantage of its algorithm and reach younger audiences with clever marketing campaigns. And who can blame them? With the likes of Nike, Fendi, and beauty products, and Chipotle, of all people, making waves on TikTok, it's clear that the platform has a serious marketing potential. This news is a clear warning to Instagram and Snapchat, who have long dominated the teen social media landscape. With TikTok's meteoric rise in popularity, it's possible that the platform could soon overtake its competitors in terms of user numbers and advertising capabilities, even with its looming expulsion on the horizon. So, if you're not already on TikTok, it might be a good time to start practicing your dance moves, brushing up on your lip singing, and who knows, maybe you'll become viral. Well, my SEOs, that's all the news I have for you today. Do you think Google's Transparency Center will help? Do you think Instagram's interest feature is a good thing, or will it just lead to being more closed off? And do you feel that Meta has done enough when it comes to brand safety? Do you think the new Google conversational AI is going to be as understanding as your BFF? Or will it just misunderstand everything you say like a bad relationship? Do you think the new attributes are going to be helpful? And how do you feel about TikTok being the dominant force in grabbing teens' attention? Let me know in the comments down below. 